Hi guys, this is a video of uh, how to make a uh, emergency water filtering system for yourself in uh, case of a SHTF scenario uh, for less than 50 bucks. Uh, it works just like this one does, uh, but uh, it's real simple to make uh, and you don't have to pay, this one's like $259 plus shipping. Uh, it's going to do basically the same thing. It's just not going to be the stainless steel canister like this one is. But uh, anyhow, let me uh, get started. First thing you're going to need is a, uh, a ceramic filter. Uh, Dalton makes these. Uh, they're uh, uh, cleanable. You can clean them once they get dirty. Uh, very easy to clean. Uh, 30 bucks. That's the biggest cost of this whole this whole project. Uh, uh, the, this thing right here is uh, it'll the capacity on it is uh, 2,600 gallons uh, worth of water you can make with it. I filter it out. It takes all the uh, uh, the bad particulates, E. coli and 99% uh, of coli and other other variable. Uh, contaminants in the water that will make you sick. Uh, with this and a, and a gallon of bleach uh, you're going to be in uh, uh, good shape for drinking water. Uh, this is a 2 by 10 and uh, it's called a ceramic candle. So let, let's uh, go out in the shop and I'll, I'll show you how I made mine. Okay guys, this is how I uh, did my emergency water system. Uh, it's going to be real, real simple how to do. Uh, I've got about, uh, probably about 45 bucks in it. Got uh, one ceramic uh, filter, which is right there. Uh, I bought one uh, spigot that goes on one of the buckets. Uh, a green scotch bright pad. Uh, three quarts of uh, Clorox and two five gallon buckets with lids from Lowe's. Uh, this is going to be real simple how to put together. Save yourself a bunch of money and uh, you'll be good to go if uh, SHTF scenario hits. Uh, you'll have water for uh, you and your family. Uh, this thing's going to make uh, in its lifetime the filter is good for 26 hundred gallons so you can buy two filters three filters whatever you think is going to you're going to need if you have a big family you know you might want to get two or three filters uh, also the bleach uh, that's a three quart bottle of Clorox uh, you want to use the regular Clorox none of the uh, scented type like the lemon scent or uh, any other type of scented stuff just the regular uh, hypochlorite type Clorox uh, that three gallons gonna, is going to uh, actually make uh, 2,800 gallons of uh, clean, pure water to drink. Uh, these filters take out all the bacteria and everything in, in, uh, in, the, in the bad water. Uh, so uh, this is going to be a real simple way to do it. So uh, uh, let me start on it. Filter. Uh, pretty nice. What you're going to do with this is uh, it's going to it's going to come with a nut and it's going to come with a washer. And what you're going to do is take take your first five gallon bucket and you're going to drill a three eighths hole in the bottom of it, right dead center. This is going to be your filtration bucket. So what you do is you take take the ceramic filter, the male end of it, and put it in the bottom of the bucket like so. Take the nut on the bottom and screw it. Screw it where it's nice and snug on the bottom of it. And that's going to hold your filter in place just like that. Okay, then the next thing 
I did was I took one of the lids and I, I took a, a paddle bit this being this being a paddle bit on a cordless drill or electric drill doesn't matter and I drilled a hole in it now this is going to be the lid for your second bucket so not to be too confusing this is your second bucket the only hole I put in it was on the side right there that's going to be for your spigot and I'm going to show you how that's installed so what you do is I drilled a three quarter inch hole in this and this spigot you can get these on eBay I think I paid four dollars for it it comes with two washers you put the first washer on and you put it in the hole then it, it also comes with a second washer and a nut so you just put that on the inside easier said than done and you screw the nut on the end of it and this will create a water tight seal so you can you can use your spigot after you put the water now this is the catch bucket okay there's the uh, there's the catch bucket that's where all the clean water is going to go into with the spigot so then as you take the lid you drill the uh, inch and a quarter hole in and you put it on top of that bucket so you've got that so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your filter bucket and you're going to set it on top where this little nozzle will go right through that hole and they set up there just like just like that now what you're going to do is you're going to pour your water in the top your dirty water in the top and it's going to filter out it's going to go into this bucket you're going to add uh, one half teaspoon for five gallons of water into your bottom bucket and uh, let it aerate out a little bit uh, before you use it but you should have clean drinking water very very simple very very simple to do uh, anybody can do it if I can do it anybody can do it this this other lid I've got is just uh, let's say you when you were done filtering and you've got the that that lid with a hole in it and you've got clean drinking water uh, what I would do is just take that and put it on the top and I've got five gallons of clean drinking water so I hope that helps uh, got any questions I'll see if I can answer them I'm not an expert at this is there some I picked up looking at videos and uh, doing research on the on the internet uh, one other thing uh, you can go go on the internet and, and print out uh, your uh, emergency water purification calculator and it tells you uh, how many, uh, how much Clorox you should put with how much water? Uh, I also keep that in the bucket too, just for for reference. And I also uh, took a label maker and put it on this, just so I don't have to look it up when I get ready for it. So, please subscribe. Hope this helps.